All right, let's get into welcome to Plathville. Just as a reminder, we are one week behind. Sorry about that. Because we film on Tuesdays yeah. and Plathville comes out on Tuesdays. So we are dealing with the episode where Ethan goes line dancing and Olivia yeah. continues to shove that beta down our throats, <laughs> much to my chagrin. And yes. also Mariah was doing something with music. I don't care. Yeah, it was like Kim, Lydia, Mariah practicing music at Ken's house or something. And Kim's mm -hmm. playing the bass. And yeah, uh, it's so weird. Yeah, they're talking about maybe having some sort of a family band mm -hmm. night, which is, I think, what we're going to get into next week, which I think means that that's the finale. Please. I think that's the finale. Please. But they're practicing. And then I swear to God, my husband was walking through the room. <laughs> When Mariah and Lydia start to sing that monster song. Oh my God. He stops in his cowboy boots. He looks at the TV and then starts cracking up. Stop. He's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. It's that's, beautiful that's music. Mariah's song. Yeah. About being a monster. Being a monster. And Lydia doesn't want to sing it, but she'll sing it for her sister. But she's like, I just feel weird singing the lyrics that I'm a monster. I'd because... rather be singing to Jesus. Yeah. I'm God's beautiful child. Right. So weird. And yep. Kim thinking she's badass because she's playing the bass with the yep. long ass blue fingernails. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I can't. Yep. I literally can't. And then Ken Palmer walks in at the end of the song and he's lunch, like, lunch is ready. I'm like, oh God, you're so strange. He is super weird. Did you see that somebody put up on the Plathville, one of the Plathville subreddits, a reminder about Ken Palmer's racist tweets? Yes. Or racist Facebook posts. That's a what it was. A lot of them, yeah. Yeah, and I went through them again and I'm like, oh my God, that's over the top. I mean, all all racism is bad yes but like that is over the top you're hiding in plain sight mm -hmm. you are a racist yep and i think kim liked a bunch of them too really? yeah so kim's a racist so kim's a racist too. i mean hello i mean I, you she have was to be. doing jamaican food and stuff for their token That's friend not inherently and couple, racist mm, she was that racist it was, it was racist because she's like yeah, look, I'm a white person and I'm friends with a person of color I'm making Jamaican food. So you think I'm she was tokenizing that person? Totes, yeah. Well, in a world where that was an actual friend of hers, there's nothing wrong with inviting that friend over and having him prepare his cultural food. That's not inherently racist. It's Kim Plath. Though. But it's Kim Plath. Yeah. <laughs> it is Kim Plath. And so she's probably a little bit racist. Yeah, if she's with Kim Palmer. Yeah. She's racist. I, um, that's a terrible thing to say. We probably shouldn't say that. I can say Ken Palmer is, though, because I saw his Facebook posts. Yep. I am loathe to call people that word. Me too. Honey, in 2024. Yeah, me too. But Kim was liking <laughs> his shoes. I mean, if the sandal fits on the big foot. Exactly. If the sandal fits on the trotter. <laughs> yeah, that's not, exactly. so bad. Who cares? We should probably censor that. Why? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> She got wide feet, though. I mean, she does. Wide, big old wide feet. Wide feet is wide as her ass. Girl. <laughs> oh my god! We are body shaming again. Why? I get Who scared. Cares? I get scared when we body Everybody's shame. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's, Everybody's thinking doing it. it. Everybody's definitely thinking Everybody's it. Everybody's on Reddit doing it too. But we are the only two skirts. inappropriate people on this podcast that are doing it. Mini skirts with that body, yaddy, yaddy. I mean, girl. Well, there's nothing wrong with a little sugar in your tank, honey. No, sure, yeah. A but little um, fluff and stuff. Wear appropriate clothing. You don't need to be wearing a mini skirt. I don't need to be seeing all that ass. Like, that's very judgmental. I do not she need to be She might love herself in that dress. Ken might love it as well. Get a little sneaky poo from Ew. the back end. You know what I'm saying? Just go, like, just tilt your head a little that's bit and disgusting. see what she's working with. Dang. I do not want to think about that. Thank My you bad. very much. My bad. So Ken came in and he broke it up and then we went to the next scene. Yeah, we went to the next scene, which is Ethan and his TLC planted friend, Andres, going to He's line so dancing. Weird. <laughs> He's like a fucking alien, Where dude. do they get these people? He's like a gray. I know. He's like his a gray. eyes, dude. <laughs> From Draco. <laughs> See, here you are talking about body shaming. Sorry. Sorry. And we're Sorry. talking about this kid. <laughs> well, he's very odd. I mean, he's yeah. Odd person. He looked like an alien, but they're going line dancing. Okay. And this is where Ethan awkwardly flirts with some girl who's Can also a TLC plant. What? Can we talk about his drip? Ethan? Yeah. Like, so he's got like his jeans on. His wranglers. And his boots. And mm -hmm. he's got like a leather. Were you a turned Leather on? jacket. No. I mean, because he's very blonde. I'm not yeah, into blonde. Yeah, you've had dreams person. about him though. Well, don't. We don't need to. Some people don't know that about me. So, well, there was the one time. Patreon. <laughs> it's on Patreon. Yeah, it is on Patreon. I did talk about it on Patreon. Yeah. Anyway, I just had a dream about him and me in a truck. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I woke up and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm watching too much Plat Yeah. But I did have a good time. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, I thought he looked sharp. I mean, compare yeah. and contrast with Brandom. Yes. Thank in you. Sedona, thank you. Wearing some with that blue I mean, shirt, weird dress shirt that, with his girl. chest hair, looking like a vagina, <laughs> bitch, looking like a vagina, <laughs> and I'm some <laughs> weird pants. I mean, oh my, oh, my god. god, yes, Ethan looked a lot better. Yeah, by comparison, and he has muscles compared to uh, Brandon. Yeah, I Br- mean, I'm like, I can't. Brandon, <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> that's yes. his name. Yeah, yeah. So Ethan looked good. He meets this TLC planted girl. I can't remember her name. I Lily. already forgot. Lily, who was already mic'd up conveniently. Very tall. Not unlike Olivia. Mm-hmm. He likes him tall. Blonde mm-hmm. also. She was very pretty. They were talking. They were flirting, I guess, kind of. He, asked he was for drinking her water. Yep. Which I think is because he's coming into the awareness that he does not do well with alcohol. Yeah, probably. And I think for a time he was probably drinking too much. Mm-hmm. And so Ethan... <laughs> <laughs> as you're drinking so, over here yeah. um so i think he's been trying to cut back yeah which i mean that's great which at least is for you have losers the self-awareness <laughs> which is for well, pussies <laughs> if you're a mean drunk it's good yeah that you're aware of it you're yeah. a fun drunk thank you, you party i think so you get crazy i do you, you get too crazy two sips and i'm going crazy <laughs> right now and every time you're like do i drink too much i'm like no <laughs> drink more yeah <laughs> Yeah. It's fun. I thought it was cute. They line danced. Yeah. You know, Ethan clearly doesn't have any riz. No, <laughs> not at all. And so he's doing the very best that he can with yeah. a beautiful young woman. Mm-hmm. I thought he did well. Me too. And he seemed to have fun. Yeah. And it seems like they texted afterwards and that's great. But mm-hmm. I want to see footage of that other girl he was dancing with that we saw pictures of last yeah, season. Yeah, that was a brunette, wasn't it? Was it a brunette. Mm-hmm. And they were a lot closer together. Yes. And I'm like, let's see some of that. I don't want to see this forced like right. storyline. This felt like TLC was like, yeah, so Olivia is dating some weirdo. We need to have you try and look like you're dating some other chick. So that way it's cool and entertaining. Mm-hmm. But it's not cool But it's not. No. I don't, I don't want to see it. Womp, womp. Womp, womp. And then speaking of Olivia. I just tried to go to another dimension. Girl. You know, where I could be super turbo neutral and not like feel anything as I watched this, but I was so deeply bored. Oh my God. I was so bored. It was so bad. We have to go to... Crystal an, Magic. Crystal Magic. Which I've been to. Have you? Yeah, it's actually a really great store. Did you get your aura taken? No. The picture, the curly and photography. A scam. It is a scam, but like it's it doesn't matter. So it's stupid. so stupid. It's just a gateway for them to talk about themselves oh and God. their groundbreaking romance. So Nobody cares. Dumb. Nobody cares. But Olivia believes it though. She thinks it's like legit. She's Does like, oh she? my God, look at our chakras. They're aligned. They're so focused. Uh, look at our aura. <laughs> it's yellow. That means it's good. Like it's so fucking it dumb. Means you guys have some fresh energy coming in. <laughs> Is somebody planning on a move or something? As and if, Olivia's like, oh my God. Uh, as oh if, my God. <laughs> so accurate. This aura reader chick was literally just picking whatever colors aesthetically matched them. Yes, and was probably given information by the producers yeah. of things that they wanted her to say. Yeah, like, oh, there's a move coming up. And Olivia's like, oh, my God. Well, my lease in LA is ending. So, yeah, maybe I'm thinking about moving, which means you're going to move in with Brendan. Yes, she already probably has. Which means you're going to pay for a place for you and Brendan to live. Right, because, because he's, he's a, a dog, dog walker. walker. And again, I'm not judging that per se, but he's a 28-year-old dog walker. Dog walker! And I'm just saying, that's fine. Everybody starts somewhere, but Olivia is on a television show. She's a world-famous photographer yes. or something. She's traveling the world and I, 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 and here we got a dog walker yeah. with a vagina for a chest. <laughs> vagina! And I mean, okay, that means Olivia has to pay for it. Am I wrong? I sent you the picture. <laughs> I mean, Was it yeah. not? No, yeah. A absolute vagina? Yeah, totally. Harry Bush. <sighs> yeah. It's bad. Why? Why doesn't Olivia see what we see? Well, because he doesn't think he's worthy to be with somebody like Olivia. So he's like the perfect type of man for Olivia. Which you don't really learn until they leave yep. until he leaves and he's going to catch his plane and mm-hmm. they hug goodbye and he says something i forget what he says he's like 
uh, Olivia is a very free person, very free spirit. And if you love something enough, you have to let it go and let it be free. But like, I'm not worth coming back to. And yeah, that was crying. such a non sequitur. Like, a, where did that come from? You've got a hickey, you're farting in the bed. <laughs> you are super confident. Yeah. I'm like, all of a sudden, you're not worth coming home to. Like, out of the, listen, honey, when they show you who they are, you better believe them. When they tell you who you are, who they are, you better believe them. What, Brendan? Yes. So you think Brendan. think not worth it? Well, no. Yeah. Well, I don't think he believes that he is. Yeah. That is a huge insecurity and a huge problem. He's obviously upgrading with Olivia. He knows it. And in the quiet moments, he feels it, that she's way better than he is. And so that's why he says something like that. And if you're going to be with a guy like that, he's going to work to undermine you. He's going to work to steal your shine. He's going to work to limit you, isolate you, because he doesn't feel good about himself. So if you feel good about yourself, it's not going to work for him. Mm. Well, I think it's the opposite mm -hmm. for Olivia. Like, I think she needs somebody who's not like a strong personality because Ethan was a strong personality. He knew what he wanted. He knew the kind of guy he was. He knew what he wanted out of his partner, which we can have a debate about whether that's right or wrong all fucking day. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that Ethan's a strong headed personality. Yes. He's a Taurus. He speaks his fucking mind. And Olivia's the same kind of person. She needs also somebody. A Taurus. Yep. She needs somebody weaker than him. I don't know, girl. That's what I'm thinking. Because I'm a Taurus. And well, I have yeah. I have been with people who were weaker than me and I just hated it. Ran all over them. I steamrolled them. I couldn't be with them. That's what I'm saying with Olivia. Like mm -hmm. I think she kind of subconsciously needs somebody she can steamroll because she tried to do that with Ethan. Yeah, but she'll never be happy if she can push somebody around. Exactly. She needs a stronger man who will say, uh uh, you ain't doing that. No. But she has to allow that, right? Yes. Like she has to allow somebody to be a strong personality. Like, and I know Ethan was, they didn't mesh well, obviously, because they had different perspectives and stuff like that. But like she needs somebody stronger than her to mm -hmm. compete with that. But now she's that got the she soy Exactly. See, Ethan was strong in that way, and he did um, uphold his values, but she did not respect him. Toward the end, exactly. she actually had contempt for him. Now, if she were to meet somebody that she highly respected, yeah. who was a strong man, who would not put up with her bullshit, or woman, by the way, mm -hmm. who would not put up with her bullshit, then yeah, I think that would be perfect for her. Yep. Not this guy. No. This guy doesn't think that he is good enough, mm -hmm. and frankly, he's not. No, frankly, he's not. He knows it. I he mean, knows it. You're with this goddess mm -hmm. of Olivia. I mean, I know she's fucking crazy. She's insufferable. She's, she's a narcissist. insufferable, but like she's gorgeous. And that's what like a lot of men really care Absolutely. about. Absolutely. That's I mean, their number one thing that they look for is a hot babe. Yep, yep. For sure. And like I said last week, he's just saying all the things he needs to so he can keep fucking her. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's going to this stupid aura reading because she wants to go. And then he does this dumb tarot reading to be like, yeah, like I care about this bullshit. Can we talk about Olivia and her sudden fascination with metaphysics? Ugh. Like, is this a genuine or an authentic thing? Like, she wants to appear like this witchy, mysterious Stevie Nicks woman. I'm not buying it Me as either. a witchy, mysterious Stevie Nicks woman. Yeah. Authentically. <laughs> Literally. In my life. Yeah. Like, why are you performing spirituality? Because you want to give the air of no longer being indoctrinated in your former religion that. or being completely separated from that. And so you're going in the opposite direction. But it's like just another system of belief that you're falling into. And why? Why it's do a, you need to do that? It is a TikTok trend. I'm going back to that shit. I think she is like on TikTok. Chronically I think, online TikToker. Yep. She's like one of those people that makes TikTok her entire personality. So like everything that's trendy on TikTok she's into and that's you see that with like a lot of people so, beatrice i'm interrupting what? you i apologize but how do you know what's trendy on tiktok since you don't have tiktok and you won't even let me get tiktok <laughs> so i don't anytime somebody sends me a tiktok link i like press it and i can't watch it i can't even watch it. i know how do you know what is trendy on tiktok Beatrice? well because i have people who are on tiktok and they tell me what's on tiktok and also everybody uploads tiktoks to instagram Okay. So like all of your reels that you're watching are, mm -hmm. were on TikTok weeks ago. So like it's all on there. And like I see this in a lot of people I personally know in my life. Uh, like family members and like friends and stuff that I know. Big yikes. Big yikes. Where they all have the same personality now because they're all on TikTok and they can't think for themselves. And so, personality disorders. Yeah. Sorry. No, like seriously. <laughs> like you guys don't even know like some of my family it's wild and it's all from tiktok do you have somebody with did no 
but I have somebody with some. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tourette's? No. What is I the wish new it one? Um, like Ellers Dan. Oh my god. Low Ellers, Ellers Dan Low syndrome. Everybody fucking thinks they have that I now. I don't even get me started. <laughs> oh god. I know Evie Oddly from RuPaul's Drag Race had that, but like I think he. It's rare. She actually has that. It's rare. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, yeah. So I. That's why I think with so Olivia. Olivia is chronically TikTok online. Yes, because I mean, like the whole deconstruction thing is also trendy on tiktok and i'm not saying that that's like a bad trend to have like people should be allowed to deconstruct from their fundamental cults and religions that they're a part of that's perfectly fine but deconstructing is trendy new age spirituality is trendy this uh progressivism stuff is trendy which again i'm not saying is bad i'm just saying she's going down this path and making that all of her personality and it's annoying like just be yourself like there's right. nothing wrong with who you are like think for yourself you don't have to parrot stuff that you hear some other chick who's also a taylor swifty fan on tiktok saying all this stuff you know what i mean i'm yeah. not trying to get political it's just like no, I, I just I, think i don't think you said anything that was political yeah i just i just think she's following all of this stuff and so that's why she's like oh look our chakras are aligned i'm like do you even know what that is right do you even know what that means? Yeah. I was just cringing, like, from not a place of even knowing what is going on on TikTok. Yeah. TikTok, I was just like... TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> Such a boomer. Ah, I misspoke. Uh, I didn't believe it was TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm not coming from a place of judging her for that. I'm just coming from a place of judging her from jumping from one system right into another. Just exactly. like she's jumping from one relationship right into another without taking the space to actually take care of herself, which she's also constantly talking about doing. Right. As if she's doing that. You're just going from one situation into another situation. And just because it looks a little different and the guy is a little different doesn't mean it's different for you and how you're experiencing it no way and like when she has brendan meet lydia as if they haven't already met before like they're all like matching color like don't say you're meeting each other for the first time like you guys have already met before like this is stupid but lydia grace points out that this is a little fast like olivia and brendan are already serious like she's freshly single like she's out of this long marriage like it's a little much and she doesn't want her sister to get hurt and i feel like that's what's gonna happen because olivia's putting all of her eggs into this one basket and i don't understand why yeah i think that she's just habituated to a certain type of relationship a certain understanding of herself and instead of like disrupting the pattern she wants to stay in the pattern or in the habit of it and so she's moving from one guy to another guy one spiritual system to another spiritual system and she's not changing anything in a deep way yeah not at all in a substantive way because it's comfortable to her because in order to change like that Mm -hmm. it is very uncomfortable oh yeah like you have to excavate Mm -hmm. parts of yourself you got to pull them the fuck out of yourself you got to look at them shadow you have yes your shadow you have to acknowledge them as being a part of you and your narcissistic tendencies that led to the destruction of your own marriage. It wasn't Ethan alone, honey. Mm -hmm. And all the things inside of you pre-existing that caused these things. And you have to acknowledge them and then set about to bring some light into them or to change them. Exactly. That is uncomfortable as fuck. Oh, yeah. And so it's great to be positive, (laughs) but positivity can be toxic. Yep. And it doesn't indicate actual change. Yeah, and speaking of that, current day... She just was on another podcast. It was with, with the same lady that she was on a couple weeks the pink ago. Lady. Pink Lady. Yeah, Pink mm-hmm. Shade podcast or yeah. something like that. She was on another episode with her where she's shit talking Barry and Ethan again. She's talking about how Ethan's actually not signing the divorce papers. Like actually they weren't signed. I wondered about that. He didn't sign any of the financial stuff apparently. That's from Barry. Uh He's listening to his dad. And she calls Barry out for that. She's like, oh, I saw the footage of Barry saying, yeah, take your time. Don't Mm -hmm. rush things. Think it through. Yes. And she's like, well, now I know why he's not signing the papers. Like he's dragging this out on purpose because he won't sign the financial stuff. Haven't they said either Ethan or Olivia or both of them that their divorce was finalized yes they've said that like, they've said it on the and show and i wondered when they said it i'm like uh-uh, i'm not feeling that i'm feeling like it is not final at all mm-hmm. but then now she's going on the pink shade and mm-hmm. and again trying to throw ethan under the bus right. like as if it's all him like mm-hmm. i'm sorry but you guys had assets and you guys like 
we go back to the house. Like he had to sell his herd of cattle to mm-hmm. buy this first home for you. And then you guys moved around everywhere. Yeah, he's probably trying to think about how he can secure his shit so you don't take all of his stuff. Yeah. Because I wouldn't put it past her. Mm-hmm. I Me wouldn't neither. put it past her. Me neither. So I don't know. It's like. You and talk- how busy is she as a photographer? Oh, very busy. Is she for sure? Oh, yeah. Okay. Are, are her photos like super great? Yeah. No, she's actually a very talented photographer. Okay. Yeah. All right. And she's got like over 400,000 followers and stuff on Instagram. Okay, well, contrast that with what Ethan does to make money, which is, I think, mechanics. Yeah. Like, I think it's rebuilding cars or working in a shop. Like, I feel like her income or her income potential way outpaces his. Yeah, probably. So, like, I'm just wondering, maybe that's why he would like to hold on to some assets and not just give them all away to her. Exactly. Yeah, that's probably what it is. But then she's, you're going to talk all this growth and all this bullshit, but then you're going to still talk crap right. about your ex again mm-hmm. on another podcast. Like, right. she's, uh, she keeps doing it to make people hate Ethan, which, I mean, again, there's a lot of things you can hate about him. Mm-hmm. Totally. But, like, why do you got to throw him under the bus all the time mm-hmm. when he's not doing that to you? No, he's not. He's really not. Not even on this season. No, not really. I mean, he said some things that were... A little. Yeah, a little critical of her and didn't show her in a great light, like her saying that he couldn't sing or Mm -hmm. that his family band sucked. Right. (laughs) Both things are true. Both things are true. But like saying those are unkind things to do. Like he has called out a few things, but compared to her, certainly on Instagram, he's Mm -hmm. very quiet. Oh, yeah. And it's just about his family or his motorcycle trip. It's not about Olivia at all, unless he posted that Lord Huron post about loving her and wanting her back and like that's it but she's the one who continues or persists in calling him out in these ways which again to me is an indication of an unhealed person uh-huh. because i'm not out here well i do talk about my other men you do impotent guy husband one husband two <laughs> yeah <laughs> i would talk about men but i mean i'm not like uh, emotionally charged about it no it's not, not like i'm bitter about no, it no and i'm not objective. on a campaign yeah i'm just talking about my life right with her though it feels like she's on a campaign yeah, and she even doubled down on that singing comment a couple weeks ago, too, where she was like, yeah, like, I come from a very musical family. Like, I have a very talented ear. And so, yeah, I'm just going to call it out like I seize it. Okay. I'm like, okay. Right. Again, a thing that you have to be an expert about, that you're so musically inclined and that you have to criticize everybody else. Like, look, we're musically inclined. Yes, we call them bad singers. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is your spouse. And if you're like being outwardly mean to him mm-hmm. and crushing his little fragile dream of like being a singer. The next Johnny Cash or something. Like, that's mean. Well, what is the saying? Um, Honesty without compassion is brutality. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. It's mean. It's meanness. I mean, it could be true, but if you don't have compassion or love in your heart for the person as you tell them this thing, you're just being mean. Egg. Exactly. Sorry about it, Olivia. Sorry. I know you don't want to hear that critique of you, but it's true. Like you're mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, That's what it is. Well, and in the preview, and I don't mean to jump ahead, we see Kim actually sitting down with Ethan talking about his relationship with Olivia yeah. and her saying, I really hope that you find somebody that you can love and who treats you well, mm-hmm. because that bitch did not treat you well. No, she didn't we all see it bold of kim we'll get there when we get there we'll get there it's yeah it's very bold of kim and then the last scene that we have is micah and veronica going to get ice cream and go shopping specifically at a jewelry store veronica also says kim is a sweetheart which everybody's like trashing on reddit they're like really you think kim's a sweetheart (laughs) like what do you mean makes no sense but they go ring shopping and i just want to say i told you so that i think this is totally setting up for an end of season proposal Biatch. he would be more stupid than i already think he is if he oh, proposes to veronica but when they're at the ice cream shop and he orders butter pecan and pecan. She, she says it's pecan he's like it's pecan and i have this argument with my husband all the time really? he's from texas it's pecan and i'm like it's pecan i just make trouble <laughs> pecan. but it's like they have a relationship where she constantly feels a need to disagree with him uh-huh. in a playful way but also probably in a serious way behind closed doors when the camera's not going. Like she seems like she needs to always put him in his place. That's not attractive. That's not sexy. Micah's a free spirit. Yeah. He's a beautiful soul. He's a sweet little Pisces baby. Why do we always have to critique him and criticize him and make him feel stupid? Well, and like she puts him down for getting banana pecan ice cream. Old man ice cream. Old man. I'm like, what the fuck? What is up with 
the two eldest boys in the family going for women who are very critical, Mm -hmm. very judgmental, very hard, very hard and mean. Mm hmm. I don't know, mommy issues. That's what I'm saying. And or daddy issues. Isn't there like a thing where like they say you marry your parents or somebody like your parents or whatever? You marry the the person that's like your parent of the opposite sex. So I would marry my dad. You would marry your mom. Okay. Kind of a thing. Yeah. So then, I mean, they're marrying their mom. Yeah. Because that just reflects Mm -hmm. back on Kim and she's a judgmental bitch. So I don't know. Red flags. I just, I don't know. I, I Again, I say Veronica's very socially awkward. It would appear that she's mm-hmm. not comfortable on the camera. But just the way they banter and the way that they play They're seems weird. toxic to me. Yeah. And it feels like Micah's trying to figure it out in the moment and like how he should respond and what he should do. And it's just like, Jesus, it feels unsafe. Like talk about the Browns always using that word. It yeah. feels unsafe. For Michael, like he can't do anything right. And so they're ring shopping and those rings look beautiful. Uh Uh-huh. Big old rocks. He gets her ring size, which is seven and a half and mine is five and a half. Oh my God. It's It's skinny. It's a skinny legend. You know what mine is? Four. Three. Oh my God. (laughs) Bitch. Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah. I've got got thin fingers though. But like you definitely got got little tiny baby baby toddler fingers. Yeah. Little T-Rex arms, your husband calls them. Yes. So they're trying these rings and she picks one and i guess it's some sort of diamond plated diamond coated yeah fake. gem it's a <laughs> fake ring that's under $500 mm-hmm. so Micah says okay I'll get you this yeah so he's gonna have to pay $30,000 and she's like what does it symbolize and he's like oh like thinking about thinking about the future mm-hmm. thinking about thinking about it yeah like, okay what does that mean I feel like he's genuinely reticent to make a commitment on that level with her and he's right to be I kind of feel like it's him trying to play it off like a surprise. I don't know why. I feel like he's going to end up proposing to her, which would be so terrible. But like he's saying things like in this scene, like, yeah, when I moved in with her, like marriage has been on the table from the get go. And also I'm very young and am I I too young to make a commitment like this? uh, Yes. You, the answer is yes, yeah. but I mean, does he believe that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying he's too young as somebody who got married at 20. I know. But I mean, like. But. It's I a knew different situation yeah. and it ended up being long lasting We're and all, uh, almost 10 years yes so i mean it can happen mm-hmm. but veronica and micah are weird oh. i don't like it i don't either but everybody likes veronica though in the family so it's kind of odd i like veronica i yeah. think she's a nice person i just think she doesn't know how to act in a relationship uh, for the cameras camera. oh. i wonder based on how she acts in front of the cameras how their relationship actually is behind the scenes mm. whether she's softer more communicative oh. less critical like she's so uncomfortable maybe she's doing that because she doesn't know what else to do that could be that because why else would he, he want to be with her he could be with anybody male or female or not they <laughs> or th- they male <laughs> oh, no, sorry you know what I mean? Yeah. He, she, they. No, for real. He can be with anybody he wants to be with. Anybody. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. So maybe their relationship is different off camera. I would like to hope so. Yeah, me too. Because she is very awkward. And then we have the preview where Mariah booked a date for the family concert. And I'm a snorri. Oh my God. It's going to be a train wreck. That's all we know. Um, Kim is really hoping that Barry and Ken fight over her. Like, she's, like, obsessed with this yeah, idea. she needs that. Of them brawling. Validation, yeah. Even though Barry's like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm jacked. And I'm moving on. I'm moving and on. And I'm looking for a little sweet honey who's into fitness yep. and kombucha. It mm-hmm. ain't you, honey. No, ma'am. Not missing you, thanks. Not at all. Have fun with your drunk racist yeah. boyfriend. Yeah, and I wrapping mean- your car around trees. <laughs> good luck with seriously. that seriously like but they do have a confrontation which i'm excited to see ken and uh, it's gonna be a nothing burger it's gonna be nothing. barry's gonna be super polite and but ken's I'm gonna to stammer him. and he's got no riz i feel like ken's gonna try to talk shit about barry for some reason i don't think so but i'm just like this the is the audacity if he tried though as a family friend who yeah. went and boinked kim of all people whatever <laughs> what you wouldn't want to no what if you were her age absolutely not and I'm an ass man. <laughs> I could not be like that, girl. girl I'm you don't want to get down no! in that. No, okay. That's 
swamp just ask ass him. girl oh no my god man. you know it's swamp ass oh lord they're in moving Georgia. on <laughs> anyway and then micah my is god. mad at mariah for some reason and then mariah well it looks like mariah stole away from her own family band <laughs> event and probably went to see the mysterious married guy it, oh, that's, that's what, what, what i thought it, it was and so they're calling her because she went to see him or something and they're all upset and here. and she's like ghosting them too because yeah. she gets on the phone with one of them and she's like i'll call you back later bye hangs yeah. up yeah in typical mariah fashion yeah. so that'll be interesting mm-hmm. is it going to be this week's episode or the finale it's tonight's episode god we're missing it we are missing we it. had to cover this boring and i'm shit. okay with that that's fine we'll watch it later <laughs> we'll watch it and we'll come week. back next week to talk about yeah. tonight's episode which is hopefully the finale hopefully, please and then we get to grade this season because i want to start grading seasons okay and just talk about like where we're at at the end of it so that we can make educated choices All right. about whether we want to cover them in the future that and i think plathville is up on that altar personally like we have to decide whether we want to do this again it's an f for you for me right now it's an f yeah it's like a d d minus for me it's there were some terrible. things in the season that I appreciated that came from Ethan. Like yeah. Ethan talking about his divorce, Ethan talking about his mother. Some of these things I thought were very interesting, but like it's not enough yeah. to pull it from a D minus D. No. D plus. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. But we're still gonna cover it. Well personally no, no. The personally end of it. yes. We're gonna we're gonna see this season through. But yeah. I think we need to talk about the grade at which we will accept to continue to cover it so like if it's a c or lower maybe no. we don't cover it no because it's gonna be like boring. married at first sight oh, bitch that was a c minus oh my god that was a d. like temptation island that was a d plus yeah and we never went back to that right. trough again yeah so we're gonna have to talk about that yeah okay and we'll, we will we'll um consult the okay. dumpster and yeah, everything. And, yeah and yeah we'll talk with y'all yeah. about that whether we'll come back to the plaths or not or not Okay, well, in that case, is there anything else that we need to say to these beautiful, beautiful raccoons, oh Beatrice? Oh, my God. Gorgeous. Well, if you love our podcast, you better be going to your favorite podcast Scary. platform and leaving us a glowing five-star review. Five. It really helps us grow the pod. I know some of you haven't left reviews and you're listening to these episodes Very right rude. Now. Like, I take that personally. I'm going to fight I them. take that to Jesus in my closet, in my notes. <laughs> I name you. I, I name, name you. you. Yeah. Go leave us a review. <laughs> Thank you Takes in one advance. second. Thank, Thank you very you. much. We'll be back next week to talk Sister Wives, that horse shit. Oh, my God. God. Cody yeah. motherfucking brown and also mom talk those mormon ladies yeah. and plathville we'll see yeah. what happens and until then please don't forget that we have nothing but love for you and peace out bye, bye guys <laughs>